Oh, what's going on, YouTube? Top Shelf TTMs here with a TTM mail day for August 31st, 2012. As you can see, it is a three package mail day. I'm getting back some of these ones here with these stamps I bought. Like I said before, I bought them from somebody that was selling them as a baseball collectible 140 stamps for $11. Um, and as you can see, 140 at 33 cents each. What's that, like 60 bucks, 45 bucks in stamps? So, can't beat that. Um, and because I put this one on, that came back uncancelled, so did that one. So, don't know where they're coming from, but they're uncancelled, so pretty sweet. Alright, first one, again, don't know where it's coming from. One of one in ten days. Not somebody I really cared about getting his autograph. I wrote to him because he's now a GM, and I was trying to get something better from him. Something free or something, I don't know, you know like I tried with the managers, I figured, hey... I might have a shot here, uh, but it didn't work. But at least I got an autograph out of the deal, so it's from Ruben Amaro Jr., who was not a good player, but uh, has done a pretty decent job in his off front office job uh, with the Phillies. So um, he signed this uh, 93 scorecard in black Sharpie. Next one, one of one in 14 days, coming back from Dallas, Texas. Again, Got them before, uh, had sent to them again here, and signed the 2012 Topps Heritage in Black Sharpie, Mr. Matt Harrison. It's a pretty sweet success there from a decent pitcher. And then somebody I haven't got before. Um, I can't complain because it's a free autograph. I don't really like the way he signed it. Uh, I hate when they use pen. Um, I thought it was actually a rubber stamp at first, but then I saw the big indentation from the pen, the pen in the card, but... Two of two in ten days. Again, don't know where it's coming from. But it's from... Uh, I sent to the um, um, MLB Network in uh, New Jersey. It's from Mitch Williams. Um, here on the 93 scorecard. In fact, there's some rub off there. I don't know if you can see they're not from this one. And then also this 88 Fleer card from when it was the Rangers. That one came out much better. Um... It's kind of like one of those, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like a ballpoint pen, it's, but not really. It's not a glossy one, but similar to a ballpoint, but kind of like has like a more of a flowing ink on it. It came out okay on this. He pushed really hard. Because of the gloss on this card, um, or some gloss, it really didn't come out nearly as good, as you can see. Um, and like I said, it rubbed off on the back from the other one, but... Anyway, I haven't gotten him before. He's a tough signature. He doesn't like to sign TTM, so finally got him. But anyway, um, decent day there. Four successes or three successes, and uh, hopefully a lot more stuff coming back soon. So hopefully you guys had a good day as well, and I'll catch you later.